morning guys so today I'm gonna do a little experiment uh, I'm gonna show you guys before we get into the workout and um, do our videos we're gonna do a little bit a little experiment on why soap is important so we have a bowl of water um, we have some pepper that uh, you can think of these as the germs so this this would be the germs and we have our soap so we have a bowl of water and we're going to see why it's important to wash our hands. <laughs> All right, so we take some pepper. I can figure out how to open it. It's not my pepper. And then we put some in the, in the water. Not too much. Okay, so you guys can see that there's pepper in the water and then the the magic of soap you if you if you don't wash your hands i have in one finger in one finger i have um soap and on the other i don't have any soap so if i put my finger in the water and take it out you see that that, that, that would be germs on my finger. But if we have soap in our hand and we put it into there, germs, you see that? The germs run away from soap. So that's why it's very important to wash our hands and we need to um, make sure that we can see the germs in our fi on our finger and without we have um, clean hands so wash your hands as often as possible make sure you're using um, the correct amount of soap and thank you guys for seeing this little experiment I have to go wash my hands real quick because there is a lot of germs on them right now but Esmeralda is going to talk to you guys for a second And thank you guys for watching. Hold up. As Mal will be in in a second. How are you guys? Um, this this was it was very interesting, right? So we're gonna talk about the weather. Uh, and Long Beach is 93, and Torrance is 89, and in Los Angeles is 80. So it's very hot. If you guys go out, uh, make sure you put sunblock, or if you don't have sunblock, make sure you're not under the sun for a long time because you could guys um, you guys could burn. So. Remember, I'm going to give you some announcements. Remember that every Friday we're doing a raffle. So if you're watching the YouTube, make sure you put your name in the comments so we can know that you guys watch um, the YouTube. Also, we have the best personal challenge. And this week is leg raising. So it's what um, Maricruz is doing. Okay? So we're going to start with the exercise right now.
So hi Kayla, hi um, Mara, Corey, Demantra, Damien, Adrian, Heidi. Thank you for watching the YouTube. What's up? We're gonna wake our bodies and our brains up with a good stretch. You ready? Let's get that neck rolling. And reverse. Other side. Reverse again. The other way. And once more. Now back to the left. All right, let's get some arm circles. Arm circles to the front. Come on. And reverse. Reverse. Don't forget to breathe. Get a good stretch forward. Forward. Reverse. Reverse. Get a good stretch. Good stretch. All right, we're going to cross our arms over our body. Feel the stretch in your back. Feel the stretch. Stretch it out. Down. Down, come on. Stretch it out. Couple more, guys. Couple more lunges. You can do it. Come on. Stretch it out. All right, a few arm circles get loose. We're going to do some knee raises across our body. Here we go. Come on. Stretch it out. Come on. Switch. Lift up the knee. Lift it high. Let it meet your elbow. Switch. Come on. You got this. You were born to do this. Switch. Come on. Switch. That was a great stretch. Now you're ready to get back to class and do your hey, thing. You guys.
chances are, in your life, you've had the common cold before. It can cause sneezing and coughing and can make you feel awful. The worst thing about the common cold is that you can take medications to help with the symptoms, but you really can't treat the actual cold with antibiotics like you would a strep throat infection or an infected tooth. Why? Well, let's talk about what causes it. A virus. The common cold is caused by a virus. While all living things are made of one or more cells, See the modern cell theory, viruses are not cells. Viruses are technically classified as living things since they lack many characteristics of life. But there is some debate in calling them non-living as well. Medications like antibiotics attack bacteria like E. coli, which are living cells. Antifungal medications can be used on fungi like athlete's foot, which are made of living cells. Viruses are not bacteria or fungi. You can't classify a virus as a prokaryote or a eukaryote either because it's not a cell. So what is their structure like? First of all, viruses are much, much smaller than cells. You typically are going to need an electron microscope in order to see a virus. Viruses come in many shapes. Our favorite one to draw is the bacteriophage. It sounds very fancy, but it's a type of virus that tends to attack bacteria. Despite this being our favorite to draw, note that the shape of viruses vary greatly. One thing all viruses have in common is that they have some type of genetic material. This genetic material can be in the form of DNA or RNA. Viruses usually have some kind of protein coat, also known as a capsid. The capsid can protect the DNA or RNA genetic material. Viruses can also have other structures. Some viruses package special enzymes with them. Some viruses have an outer envelope. These additions can be useful to the virus in virus replication. One thing that makes virus replication or reproduction unique is that they can't replicate without a host. And it's their reproducing that tends to be a problem for its host. Whether the host is you, in the case of the common cold, or an insect, plant, this bacterium, viruses tend to be very specific for the host that they're going to infect. But anything that is alive can be a host because cells have the machinery that viruses need in order to replicate. We're going to talk about two types of viral replication cycles. The first one is the lytic cycle. In the lytic cycle, the virus, remember very selective, attaches to a host cell. It often binds to a receptor that this cell has, which gives it access to attach. The virus can inject either its DNA or RNA, depending on what kind of genetic material it has, into the cell. Some types of viruses are actually taken inside the cell themselves. Now, you would think that the cell would notice viral DNA or RNA or an entire virus that has been taken in, but in many cases, it does not. It takes the genetic material from the virus and it starts following the instructions, which in this case is very bad because the instructions tell it to make copies of the virus. The cell uses its own resources to start building. It starts making so many copies of the virus that it can cause the cell membrane of the host to rupture, explode, ice. So what happens is now that these new viral copies they can get out of the cell and go and infect other cells. This is known as the lytic cycle. By the way, the lysing of the cell membrane is a very bad thing for the cell. The cell cannot survive without its cell membrane. The other cycle is called the lysogenic cycle. And I like to remember this is the longer word. So I like to think of this as the longer sneaky cycle. Viruses that go through the cycle tend to do the same thing at the beginning. They inject their genetic material, but this time the genetic material stays hidden in the host genetic material. What happens is that when the host makes new cells, it replicates its own genetic material and the viral genetic material. Then those daughter cells make new cells and they also replicate their own genetic material and the viral genetic material and so on. This is the lysogenic cycle. That may not seem like a problem, but oh, wow. it really becomes one if the virus gets triggered to go into the lytic cycle from that point. Because then all those cells that have the viral genetic material can start assembling viruses. And as far as what triggers it to go into the lytic cycle, it can vary. It could be a chemical trigger, for example, or a lack of food for the host. Going back to the common cold, a lot of times it has to run its course. Your immune system will typically take care of it and medications can help with the symptoms so that they don't feel as bad. But unfortunately, some viruses are extremely complicated, like HIV, a virus that can lead to AIDS. Like most viruses, it is very specific. It binds to a CD4 glycoprotein that is found on the surface of specific cells, such as helper T cells. 
The problem about this particular target is that helper T cells play an important role in protecting the body and the immune system. Since HIV goes after these immune cells, it can make a person that is infected with HIV vulnerable to other infections. There are medications that have been developed to help keep HIV from replicating as quickly, and there continues to be research into looking into ways to keep the virus from attaching, because if the virus can't attach, it can't insert its genetic material. A problem that continues to be a challenge is that many viruses, including HIV, can mutate. So a treatment developed against a certain virus type may not work on a mutated form. So with our talk about viruses, you might wonder, is there anything positive about viruses? Well, some viruses can play a useful role in gene therapy. Definitely something to explore more. So that was a long video, but um, I know it was a lot of complicated um, words and maybe we didn't understand the, pro the whole thing, but to make everything simple, a virus is a little thing that attacks your cells, it goes inside your cell, and your cell divides. So your cell um, makes more cells with the same virus inside of it, and that's how you get a cold. So um, the best way to prevent that is by washing our hands and um, making sure that we're um, staying healthy by eating unhealthy um, food. Yeah, make sure to wash your hands because that's with that little thing, like Hector said, that little um, virus, if it goes into your body, it it's going to multiply a lot of them, and, and it's going to be hard to get rid of it. Yeah. So make sure to wash your hands off. The next segment is employment training. Um, we're going to go back to the eight work skills because those are really important and I think um, we need to keep re-watching them. So number one and number two, communication. Depending on the job, communication is about being a good talker and a good listener and using communication devices. It involves being confident when speaking to people face to face. Some of the key elements of good communication skills are listening and understanding what is being said to you, speaking clearly and directly, or using your device to communicate reading independently, using numbers, sharing information. Cody, could you grab me a five litre of pulse please? Yes. Here you go, Sue. Thank you. Chicken pie. Yeah. Chips and salad. Table 19. Table 19. Hey Matt, yeah. can you watch that camera in the wash bay when you finish here please mate? Sure can. Thank you. I got pineapple feta. Oh, yeah. And I got chocolate on top. Yes, Thank nice. you. Thank you. So number one of the eight um, employability skills is communication. Communication is really important. Um, for example, today, Esmeralda and I communicated in helping me set up everything for this uh, for the beginning of the segment of the video. So um, we talk to we need to talk about it with your coworkers, with your peers. You need to talk so you could let them know what's going on and everything uh, goes better. So, so we need to oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> um, so. Uh, and also <laughs> Communication is talking to your peers, or to your co-workers, your friends, your family. What's going on? What you're about to do, or how, uh, what you're about to do, so they could be able to help you, and everything goes right. Yeah. So what I was gonna say is, no one can read your mind. So if you want to com to someone to know what you're feeling or, or saying, um, you have to communicate. Number two is teamwork and employability. Um, teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork means being good at working with people, both the people you work with and other people that you come into contact with, like customers and delivery people, etc. Some of the key elements of good teamwork skills are working with people of all ages, being able to listen closely and speak clearly, knowing what your role is in the team. Right? Yeah, right. I thought. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Hey Daniel, can you please bring in the car because I'm finished with it now? Yep, no worries. Thank you. I'll hold, you dry. And remember to keep that moving on her. That's it. Nikki, I finished. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, please, Courtney. Can I have three pink gerberts? Esmeralda, I would like to talk first. Okay, go ahead. See, that's communication. <laughs> now, I, I know that I would like to talk first. So that's what teamwork um, is and communicating. So uh, I speak first because I uh, communicated that I would like to speak first. So now it's Esmeralda's turn. This example is working together. Both of us are helping each other to do the juicy section or uh, we talk before, we communicate before we start the YouTube and then after the YouTube we also communicate to make this better. So working with somebody is teamwork. Yeah, so those are skills, those are two skills out of eight that are, are very good for employment. So we're gonna do Help tomorrow. your co-workers. We're gonna do uh, two, three, and four tomorrow, but that is actually the end of the segment of the videos because um, we will have to set up for the Spanish one. So now we're going to do some announcements. Remember that if you're watching the YouTube section, the YouTube live, make sure you put your name in the comments. Uh, remember, you could take a picture doing follow-up lessons of, of the YouTube. If you see the experiment, the experiment like with the virus and stuff, you, you don't have to do that with the paper, but you could wash your hands and send us a picture of it. Yeah, and I, we will be releasing a video of what the experiment I just did earlier this morning, later today. So be sure to look out on our main channel where we upload all our videos, and this channel is for going live, so you guys can see us and talk to us, comment. Um, thank you guys for watching us. Uh, make sure you comment your name, so because we're still doing the raffle, also, don't forget that we that the personal best challenge for this week is leg raises. So, see how many times you can raise your legs? I can't. Yeah, I can't so see. just, um, there's a really nice gift if you participate in the personal, on the best personal challenge. Personal best challenge, yes. I almost forget how to come. Um, <laughs> also, we're gonna, um, at one o'clock, we're gonna go back and play the game. Right, Hector? <laughs> so, if you want. Fun, yes, I really, really want to. <laughs> if, um, um, but remember to comment your name, remember to send a picture if you can. Uh, if you don't know where to send it, you can send it to Hector's cell phone or you can send it to my cell phone if you don't know our email. Or if you have any questions, you could call us at the office and then we could answer your questions. We will also put our email um, after this video is done in, our, in the description box so you can guys can email us things and um, it'll be easier. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you at 10.30 if you want to do the Spanish segment. Um, and if not, see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. And we're going to do more experiments like these where we, um, maybe some arts and crafts, some painting, some, some coloring, uh, math if you guys have. Uh, oh, one more thing I forgot. We uh, um, are also doing working on videos uh, for the packets that we sent out. So today we're gonna also put on our main channel another video of one of the pack, one of the work packets or uh, worksheets that you can, um, if you're having trouble on, you can go to the video and um, it'll help you uh, understand a little bit more about it. So that will help you complete the package. Um, and those videos is gonna show you how to go step by step. So it's gonna be more easy for you guys. Yeah, so that'll be in our main channel later today. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in about Five minutes in the Spanish section. Take care, you guys. Bye.